There's no denying the fact that Simone Biles is arguably one of the greatest American female gymnasts in the history of the sport. Recently, she was even named the second best female athlete of the 21st century, and she, along with Denzel Washington, is about to be awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. So stay tuned and don't go away, because with all that said, here are some gymnasts that would absolutely destroy Simone Biles. First up, who is one professional gymnast that could give Simone Biles a run for her money? You're about to find out. Caitlin Michelle Ohashi is an American former artistic gymnast who competed for the University of California, Los Angeles. Ohashi is a six-time All-American and a four-time member of the USA Gymnastics Junior National Team. She's also the 2011 Junior National Champion and the winner of the 2013 American Cup. If there's one gymnast who gave Biles a run for her money, it's Caitlin Ohashi. In fact, Biles once spoke about competing against Ohashi and a few other gymnasts after a competition and said, they just really intimidated me, but it was really good to have them along my side because they always motivated me to do better and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't mess up in front of them. So I guess it motivated me to do my best out there. Ohashi was often regarded as one of the most incredible gymnasts the world has ever seen, but a career plagued by injuries and criticisms from fans ended Ohashi's hopes of winning an Olympic gold medal. During the 2013 AT&T American Cup in Worcester, Massachusetts, Ohashi defeated Biles and the balance beam competition, earning a score of 15.333. Even though Biles was ready for the competition, she fell on the balance beam while doing a tricky routine. Biles looked up to Ohashi when she was in her prime and was really intimidated when competing against her. In a separate interview, Biles discussed what it was like early on in her career, competing against the likes of Ohashi and Lexi Grabber. Biles said, competing with all the girls I looked up to, even some of the juniors like Lexi and Caitlin, it actually made me really nervous. I was like, so scared even when we were at the chalk bucket and Caitlin was standing next to me because she was in my group and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't even talk to her. Next up, was Simone Biles ready for Sunisa Suni Lee? Let's take a look. Sunisa Suni Lee is the 2020 Olympic all-around champion and uneven bars bronze medalist. Suni was a member of the teams that won gold at the 2019 World Championships and silver at the 2020 Summer Olympics. She's also a six-time member of the U.S. National Gymnastics Team and the first Hamong American Olympian. SUNY has six world championships and Olympic medals and is tied with Gabby Douglas, Kim Zameskel, Kyla Ross, and Rebecca Bross for ninth place as the most decorated American female gymnast. At the 2021 U.S. Olympic Gymnastics Trials, SUNY beat Biles on the uneven bars and balance beam. Like Caitlin Ohashi, SUNY Lee was often able to give Biles a run for her money. When SUNY beat Biles on the uneven bars and balance beam in 2021, she was shocked that she had beaten the legendary gymnast. It's clear that with more training and practice, Caitlin and Suni would absolutely destroy Simone Biles. Lastly, another gymnast that could probably wipe the floor with Biles is Kyla Ross. Kyla Brianna Ross is a retired American artistic gymnast who currently volunteers as an assistant coach for the Arkansas Razorbacks gymnastics team. Kyla is the first female gymnast to win the NCAA World and Olympic Championship titles and was an elite gymnast from 2009 to 2016. Kyla was the last person to beat Biles in a gymnastics event. There wasn't any sort of mean girls type rivalry or anything like that. In fact, Kyla and Simone are besties away from gymnastics. Up next, which U.S. summer gymnastics camps recently hired elite coaches? Let's find out. Vail Gymnastics is set to host two summer camps from July 11th to the 15th and August 8th to 12th. 2004 Olympic all-around gold medalist Carly Patterson hasn't been confirmed as a guest coach. However, there's a chance she may show up in the future. When asked if Patterson would be coming on as a guest coach, the camp's program director Julie Cotter replied, I wish I've tried. Cotter has tried to attract top-tier coaching talent to the camp since 2015. The two camps provide athletes ages 6 and up with a chance to focus on training new skills while also prepping them for the competition circuit. Tawny Blout, Patterson's coach throughout her level 10 years, has been a visiting instructor at Cotter's camp since 2017. Blout also mentored Cotter during her own stint as a competitive gymnast. Blout was scheduled to return to the camp in July of 2022, but had to back out due to a recent health issue. Instead, stepping in for Blout will be Riley Mundell from the University of Denver's gymnastics team. It's always a top priority for Cotter to lure in the best coaching talent possible. Blout has over 30 years of experience, and Mundell has proved time and again that she has what it takes to lead a team. Stay tuned and don't go away, because we're bringing you the latest gymnastics news. Next up, how is retirement life treating Caitlin Ohashi? You're about to find out. Caitlin loves the 
the peace and quiet of post-gymnastics retirement life and says that the moments of joy are simpler now and she's able to focus on some of her other goals and interests. Today, Caitlin's life is all about waking up and spending her morning with her feline besties, Bonnie, Clyde, and Silky. Caitlin also likes to skateboard at Venice Beach, hang out with friends, and enjoy the Pacific Ocean's refreshing sea breeze. Her life today has helped her to forget about her somewhat tragic past. In a recent interview with the New York Times, Caitlin said, When I was doing gymnastics, I feel like your whole identity gets wrapped up with what you're doing. Every athlete goes through a phase where they feel like they are their sport. When she looks back at old footage of routines from her elite competition days, she now sees that she looks angry and a little sad. In retrospect, Caitlin realizes those physically visible emotions were the result of mental burnout. She's also used her voice and platform to call attention to body shaming. Apparently, Caitlin endured a great deal of body shaming during her younger days, and one of her biggest regrets is that she didn't stand up for herself. Up next, is Canada's gymnastics community plagued by a toxic culture? Let's dig a little deeper. A company called McLaren Global Sport Solutions, MGSS, has been hired by Gymnastics Canada to analyze the organization's national safe sport policies and procedures. After dozens of current and former gymnasts wrote to Sport Canada claiming maltreatment and a toxic culture in their sport, the group of athletes fighting for change calls themselves Gymnasts for Change, and in a recent statement said, Jim Can has unilaterally imposed this process upon survivors without consultation or discussion. The announcement offers no assurances that this process will be trauma-informed safe and meaningful for survivors to engage with. It's easy to understand that the concern among members of Gymnasts for Change because Gymnastics Canada's announcement fails to mention survivors or the epidemic of abuse within gymnastics at all. Gymnasts for Change has accused Gymnastics Canada of placing its concerns for self-preservation above the needs of survivors. Gymnasts for Change also claims that Gymnastics Canada repeatedly fails to truly listen to survivors in the sport. In a class action lawsuit, Gymnasts for Change alleges that they suffered physical, sexual, and psychological abuse while participating in programs delivered by Gymnastics Canada and their sister organizations dating back to 1978. It's clear that Gymnastics Canada has a real problem and it's time they start listening to survive and if need be, clean house. Finally, what's happening in California's men's gymnastics scene? Two familiar names in the California men's gymnastics scene have received significant title changes. Brian Del Castillo was elevated from assistant coach to associate head coach and recent grab Caleb Rickard was named volunteer assistant coach. Del Castillo is a former Cal gymnast, U.S. national team member, Pan American gold medalist, and international coach. Del Castillo has acted as assistant coach of the program for the past three years before being promoted to associate head coach. The Bears have reached the NCAA championships every year and as of 2022 are ranked in ninth place. Noah Neufeld's 2021 College Gymnastics Association Rookie of the Year campaign came under the guidance of Del Castillo, and he has proven time and again that he's a top-tier coach. Head coach JT Okada said Brian has brought strong technical coaching and training techniques to this team. He is thoughtful in his approach and calm in his execution. In his expanded role, he will take on accountability and set the direction for certain aspects of the program. Del Castillo has been described as having a shake-things-up approach to coaching and is known for bringing fresh new ideas when tackling various projects. It's clear that the Bears will benefit greatly under Del Castillo's tutelage. That's a wrap for today's video. Thank you for watching.